Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the arithmetic sequence. By the way guys, if you are from the Philippines, alam mo na the arithmetic sequence is part of our mathematics curriculum for grade 10 in the first quarter. But if you're not from the Philippines, feel free to watch this video and learn arithmetic sequence with me. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's define what is an arithmetic sequence. It is a sequence in which term after the first term is formed by adding a fixed number to the preceding terms is called an arithmetic sequence. So let's have here an example. Let's try 40, 60, 80, and 100. So this one is an example of arithmetic sequence. Ang tanong dito, sir, paano niyo po nasabi na ito ay isang example ng arithmetic sequence? Okay, so before tayo natin puntahan yan, punta, himay himayin muna natin yung ating definition. Meron dito, sabi dito, uh, a sequence in which term after the first term is formed by adding a fixed number. So, na-mention dito yung, wor yung words na fixed number and yung pag-add ng fixed number para makuha yung mga susunod pang terms. Actually, given this sequence, 40, 60, 18, 100, Kaya pa natin dagdagan yung sequence na yun ng different terms or ng mga susunod pang terms gamit yung tinatawag natin fixed number and that fixed number is equivalent to your common difference. And that common difference is represented by letter D. Letter D yung ginagamit natin to represent the common difference. So, later on, pakita ko sa inyo kung paano kinukuha yung common difference. Balikan muna natin yung ating sequence. In this sequence, yung 40 natin is considered as your A sub 1. A sub 1 is the first term. And yung 60 natin, this is your A sub 2, second term. This is your A sub 3. Obviously, this one is the third term. And this is your A sub 4. And napaka-obvious na siya yung fourth term na ating sequence. Ngayon, paano ba natin ako? From 40, given, di ba? Um, a sequence in which term after the first term is formed. Formed uh, by adding the fixed, fixed number to the preceding term. From 40, it became 60. From 80, it be, from 60, it became 80. From 80, it became 100. So, may tinakukuha nyo na yung pattern. And then, for sure, you're guessing what is the fifth term of the given sequence. Para malaman natin yung fifth term, we need to find the common difference. And to find the common difference, D, you need to subtract the second term, uh, the first, uh, the second term, A sub 2 by the first term. And you need to subtract your A sub 3 by the second term. And you need to subtract your a sub 4 or the fourth term by a sub 3. And tuloy tuloy lang yan. So let's try natin na gawin ito. Eh. So if your a sub 2 is 60, to find the common difference, all you need to do is subtract 60 by 40. So that is 60 minus 40. And that will give you the answer of 20 as your difference. Pero hindi pa siya naging common kasi kailangan pare-parehas muna sila. Try natin ha. So for the a sub 3, our a sub 3 is 80 minus 60. And that will give us the difference of 20. So pansin nyo, parehas na sila. And try pa rin natin yung pangatlo. And for the third difference, we have the 100 as your fourth term minus 80. And that will give us 20. Since common na yung difference natin 20, eto na yung matatawag natin common difference na 20. Ganito yung pattern natin on how to get the common difference. Uh, meron kang mga sumunod na term, isubtract mo lang yung mga naunang term. Okay? So given this common difference, we can say na yung ating fifth term is mag-add ka lang ng 20, which is 100 plus 20, that will give you 120. And, kung gusto mo makuha yung 6 term, mag-add ka lang ng 20 sa 120, it will give you 140. So ngayon, 
Kung gusto mong dugtungan pa yung mga sequence na alam mo arithmetic, ang gagawin mo lang is to add your common difference. So, I hope na nakuha nyo yung definition, yung gist, o yung konsepto ng uh, arithmetic sequence, kung paano malaman nyo na siya isang arithmetic sequence, at kung paano makuha yung common difference of a given arithmetic sequence. In the next part of our video, bibigyan kita ng marami pang examples for you to calculate the common difference at to find the next three terms of a given arithmetic sequence. So let's have here this example wherein you will be asked to calculate for the common difference and to find the next three terms of a given arithmetic sequence. It says here, find the common difference and the next three terms of each arithmetic sequence. Again, of each arithmetic sequence. So it is mentioned that this given sequence are arithmetic sequence. So, hindi na natin kailangan hanapin pa. Isa-isa, let's for example, 14 20, minus 24, 4 minus 7, kasi it will consume our time. So, what we will do for number 1 is we will solve for the common difference, which is 14 minus, again, 14 second term, minus the first term, which is 24. And that will give you the answer of negative 10. Again, the answer is negative 10. So, try natin ha. Uh, when we add 24, again, tao, again, baka malito kayo. Um, to find the common difference, you will subtract the second term by the first term. At para naman mahanap, ito na yung common difference natin. And the common difference is equal to 10. At para naman mahanap yung next terms natin, punta kayo sa last term, in which, yung common difference nyo ay i-add nyo naman dito. Okay? So, if we have 10, ah, sorry, 4, 4 plus negative 10, ang sagot natin dyan ay negative 6. Again, negative 6. And para na makuha natin yung next term natin, what we will do, since meron tayong negative 6, we have negative 6 plus negative 10. And that will give us the answer of negative 16. Tama? And for the next term, we have negative 16 plus negative 10. That will give us the answer of negative 26. Ganun lang kadali yung item number 1. So let's move on with item number 2. So as you can see guys, yung ating sequence ay pababa. From 24, it became 14, 6, and then syempre isipin mo that the common difference is negative. Hindi siya laging positive. So let's have number 2, negative 7, 4, and 15. Pataas ngayon yung ating sequence. So we will assume na yung ating common difference is a positive number. So we will do, uh, ito na lang tayo, ito na tayo sa third sa, kama, sa second. So, D is equal to 15 minus 4. Kasi pareso naman yan. Ibig sabihin ng ating common difference here is equal to 11. This is our common difference. Now, to find the third, the fourth term, 15 plus 11, your common difference, that is 26. And to find the fifth term, 26 plus 11, that is 37. And 37 plus 11, that is 48. Ayan yung ating number 2. So, gagamit lang ako ng red ink para mas makita nyo. This is 26, 37, and 48. Now, let's move on with item number 3. Sir, uh, bakit po may variables? So, pwede, pwede rin yung may encounter yung merong expressions. So, what we will do is to calculate for the common difference. Your common difference is equal to so, gamitin natin, second term, negative 10x, minus, minus ha, minus, mag-ingat kayo dito, again, negative 10x minus your first term, which is negative 3x. Ngayon, uh, it will become positive kasi negative times negative, that is positive. So, your d is equal to negative 10x plus 3x na, yan ang lalabas ngayon sa atin. Ngayon, uh, simplifying this, your common difference here is negative 7x. Ito yung common difference natin na kung saan we will add negative 7x 
to the third term, to find the fourth term. So dito, yung ating fourth term is negative 7x, 17x plus negative 7x, that is negative 24x. Okay, kasi para silang negative. So i-add natin and then copy the sign. Now, for the fifth term, negative 24x plus negative 7x, that is negative. So I'm going to use red ink, sorry. Negative 24x. Ito naman, negative 24x plus negative 7x, negative 31x. And lastly, yung ating sixth term, negative 31. Okay, tama ba tayo? 17 plus 7 is 24. Okay, 31. Negative 31x plus negative 7x, that will give you the sixth term as negative 38 x. Ayun na yung mga nawawalang terms natin for number 1, number 2, and number 3. And sana nakuha nyo kung paano kunin yung common difference. And for number 4, this is my assignment for you. I have 21, 15, 19. So kung mapapansin nyo, descending or pababa yung ating sequence. So I will ask you to find the common difference and the next three terms of this given sequence. At ilalagay nyo siya sa ating comment, sec comment section. So, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!